Imagine my surprise. Andor is good. Welcome to Galactic Initiative. In this video, a brief, very minor spoilers review of episodes 1 through 3. I discerned an interesting mix of Rogue One, Blade Runner, and Apocalypto. Andor captured Star Wars' gritty, mundane elements without mitigation. No clear-cut villains or heroes, no elegant weapons, no transcendent energy field, just desperation surrounding the vulgar, hopeless lives of the galaxy's downtrodden as they were exploited for their labor. From jungle to red light district to slums to scrapyards, the show illustrated Thomas Hobbes' state of nature. No arts, no letters, no society, and worst of all, continual fear and danger of violent death. And the life of man, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. To capture this condition, the episodes included, without gratuitousness, prostitution, murder, and other crimes. Sex was implied at several points. The show is not for preteens. For them, its content is too violent, its pace is too slow, and its themes are too mature. Within 10 minutes, I recognized an edge unique from all other Star Wars projects. Perhaps Disney should have specified its target audience in advance. Family viewing will be frustrated. The production was first rate, only one or two questionable digital effects. My suspension of disbelief remained intact throughout. The contrast between Andor's physical sets and Kenobi's digital environments was stark. The former was far superior and delivered the know-it-when-you-see-it aesthetic of Lucas's galaxy. People will bicker over the writing, it wasn't perfect, though the following defense is also an indictment. If you seek expert writing in Star Wars, you will be disappointed. The episodes began an engrossing story, which was a franchise hallmark prior to the Disney era. I enjoyed the actors' performances, both starring and supporting. Diego Luna was superb. Fans didn't ask for more Cassian, but based on the show, I don't anticipate criticism of his portrayal. Will Andor attract viewers? Too early to say. Many will cry boring for its slow progress and lack of familiar tropes. No lightsabers, no space battles, no Empire versus Rebel Alliance, yet. Where I support originality and character development, others will oppose dissonance and tedium. Andor was a risky project. Disney didn't play safe with the opening. However, I believe the story will reach familiar territory soon. I recommend it now, but as Saw Guerrero once explained, we have a long ride ahead of us. I hope you enjoyed the review. Please like and subscribe. More and or videos to come. Galactic Initiative is not authorized or endorsed by the Discord Limited. The name Star Wars and all related materials are registered trademarks of Lucasfilm Limited, a subsidiary of the Walt Disney Company, Fall Rights Reserve. Galactic Initiative is a registered trademark and other product and company names are trademarks of their respective holders. Use does not imply affiliation or endorsement.